Welcome to yet another OpenBSD video. This one is about covering the OpenBSD 7.8 release, which is the 59th release of the OpenBSD. And just the artwork is very pretty also. And it's done by App Safian. I hope I pronounce it right. So let's go through the changes or at least the important changes because the change log is very large. The most important, I would say the highlight of this release is having a lot of new drivers plus support for the Raspberry Pi 5. So about platform specific, as I said, there's this support for Raspberry Pi 5 with a lot of stuff uh, around it in the driver section. You can go through it yourself. And another important thing is that they fixed some processing of the GPIO events on the AMD64 architecture that ends up with fixing actually the various power button issues on ThinkPads with AMD CPUs. That's a very good news. I didn't find much of Apple specific fixes except just this one, which is uh, really not that at least significant compared to other changes. Another thing that I saw is about improving the compatibility of the Fuse 5 system with what is implemented in Linux. That is good and it's sort of a pathway towards a more robust Fuse 5 system support on OpenBSD. And if you are the owner of a ThinkPad Z13, good news for it is that once you suspend it and resume your laptop, you are not going to have dead fixed USB ports anymore. The bug has been fixed. And for the direct rendering manager is updated to Linux 6.12.15. And also there are two new drivers uh, for the Qualcomm Snapdragon DRR subsystem and Qualcomm DisplayPort controller. Another nice touch, it's a very small one, but it's a very nice touch is basically improvements on the AMD Sev ES. And what is that? So Sev ES stands for Secure Encrypted Virtualization Encrypt state which basically encrypts the virtual machine CPU registers when the VM stops. As a result it prevents the leakage of the information in the CPU registers to the host machine or to the components like hypervisor and this basically makes the virtualization more secure a lot of people think if they run something in a vm it's secure is untouchable that's not the case and also it's been proven it has been uh, many attacks that actually deals with intercepting or reading the contents of the cpu register so they could actually know what's happening or at least guessing what's happening in the virtual machine. This one is a step forward to make it more secure. Another a small, very small, but it's a very nice touch is that actually now the OpenBSD base has watch command. By default, it didn't. And it's import of the IIJ iWatch. So if we go here, we see that this is the one that is imported to the OpenBSD. Moving on, let's touch down on the a lot of new hardware drivers. So we have a driver for Windows management instrumentations. We have AMD power management controller driver. We have for BCM 2712 MSI controller, bunch of Broadcom drivers, plus, as I said, Raspberry Pi stuff here, the support for the H.264 for advanced coding to the U-Video driver. However, there's also a bit of uh, sad news. YubiKey OTP support is disabled in this release. It's not removed when it comes to the Ethernet uh, interfaces. Uh, there's a support for Realtek RTL 8125D and RTL 81 to seven and when it comes to the network drivers we have the stuff for the qualcomm uh, wi-fi and this is not for the all the wi-fi drivers it's just specific to the qualcomm wi-fi drivers and moving on 
to the almost the bottom of the page. Uh, let's highlight on the new packages. So we have the Audacity 375, Chromium 141, GCC 8.4, FFmpeg 613, Genome 48, and KDE Plasma 645, also LibreOffice 25811, Mozilla Firefox 14303 and ESR 14831, PHP 8229, Postgres 17.6, JDK 25 that also was released very recently, XFC 420, Vim 9117.06 and new Vim 011.4 plus in the base build we have a bump up on the llvm clang to version 19.1.7 that's a huge improvement is very good the sad news about this release is that vapid driver uh, for chromium and let's say chrome based browsers didn't make it through it has broke the build and they had to say they had to disable it you can get more information about it on the on deadly and it's highlighted also here that unfortunately it's disabled and it didn't make it through this release hopefully we get it in the new release or maybe we get it in the updated port or something i'm not entirely sure thank you so much for watching have a great day cheers